right, so we're in the car on Sunday morning and heading out to a church. I've got my good friend Leander with me, who is one of the leaders of the Bible school. And um, two years ago when I came, um, we just had that soul connection and became close brothers very quickly. And um, in the airport, when we were uh, heading out, when I was leaving to come back to the U.S., we just said, well, if it's the Lord's will, maybe we'll meet again. And mm. So it's been a great reunion together, brother. Yes, We've enjoyed it, it very much. It's been a great time already. And uh, Leander's preaching this morning. What are you preaching on, by the way? I will preach on Philippians 2, on the mind of Christ, how important that is to stay humble and um, to stay as church together in a humble mind. Uh, like the Lord Jesus uh, offered himself. So I'm going to challenge the people to be humble and live a life like the Lord Jesus. So I will not understand any of it. I'm glad you told me because it's going to all be in Dutch. Um, but it sounds great. And um, we are in the town of... Bunschoten Spakenburg. Yes, so that. We're it's really there. in the middle of the country. The exact middle of the country. And so we're going to have this, enjoy the service. The weather's beautiful. It's in the 40s today and sunny and no rain. And so we're going to uh, do something later on just to enjoy the weather. And so um, just uh, ready for a great service. So I'm standing outside the Bible school. I uh, just got done with lunch and um, had three sessions with the full-time Bible school students uh, this morning. I wanted to show you uh, the building here and a little bit about um, what property that God blessed them with. Um, there's a nursing community um, right here, this, this building over to the side, um, but their property starts right here at this hallway, and there's offices, and you can see the three-story building um, that they have for living, um, where the, lots of students and staff are living, and it wraps around. There's a nice chapel over there, and um, it's just a really amazing property that God provided for them in a really miraculous way, and um, they're compared to the property that they had two years ago this is just really amazing inside it's, it's just gorgeous the facilities they have and um, just God has really blessed them and growing um, them uh, this year they have a couple students from Belgium actually that have uh, they've been praying for Belgium for quite a while and now a couple of students have uh, joined the Bible school so they're really excited about that and um, this building now can actually host not only the full-time Bible school students and all the staff um, but also the part-time Bible school, um, which has about 80 students, uh, meets here. And they have other ministries as well um, that have now all come together. And this kind of is becoming the headquarters for many of these ministries. Uh, one of them, um, the leader here, uh, Brother Yob, I met with him last night because I'll be doing two uh, meetings on Tuesday night and Thursday night uh, for Heart for the Family. And so on Tuesday, there's going to be roughly 30 uh, married couples that are coming just to hear how to grow in their, their marriage and how to make the Lord the center of their marriage. And on uh, Thursday night, I'm going to be doing a men's meeting and talking about purity. And so those are part of the Heart for the Family ministry. And this building has given them the ability to um, have multiple ministries come together, multiple staff members, much more than they could have had before, and also um, house all these Bible school students. And so it's really an amazing property. Um, this morning I did uh, Crucified Life, the first three sessions. I shared my testimony and then did a couple sessions about defining what the Crucified Life is and why there's so much resistance to it. And it's really refreshing. The students are hungry um, to hear, um, asking very honest and open questions. And it's a challenging subject for all of us, but uh, the Lord helped me this morning. And I believe um, throughout this week, the Lord is going to continue to do amazing things and really challenge us to go deeper and I'm about to head off with Leander. We have the evening off, and we're only an hour away from Germany, so we're going to drive over to a city in Germany, just have some fellowship to be able to see the culture a little bit, and um, come back tonight to prepare for tomorrow. And so just really looking forward to it and uh, uh, enjoying what God is doing here on this trip. So we just got back uh, from our little trip to Germany. One thing that's really cool about Europe is everything is so close, and so um, we're just one hour away from the border of Germany, so we traveled over there. Leander and I uh, went together um, after lunch and headed to a, a town in Germany to do a couple things. The first thing was really interesting. Um, we went to this, um, this kind of lookout on top of a hill um, that was a uh, staircase shaped like a roller coaster. Um, kind of interesting, and you would climb up there and you get to see a view of the city, which is really nice, even though it was raining and cold. Uh, 
um, we got a chance to walk up there and you can see um, all the buildings and the German architecture. It was really interesting. Um, then we went to like a, a, a old uh, city square um, where they had, they were decorating for Christmas and they have all kinds of little kiosks um, outside of all different types of food. Um, got a chance to have some real German bratwurst, which is super good. And um, we, we walked around, um, we went to go see an old uh, church cathedral, um, but it was being renovated. So we got a chance to see the outside and see some of the architecture and then um, went out to eat um, at a restaurant. Uh, we did have an opportunity to share. Um, we talked to the waitress. Uh, Lander knows German pretty well, and so we had a chance to minister to her. Uh, her name was Nicole, and she asked for prayer for her mom and said she was a believer, and I got to share a short little testimony with her, and uh, we got to pray with her there at the restaurant, so that was cool, and um, had a chance as his brother to sit down, and he told me his full testimony. I, I knew some of it, but he had a, uh, had a chance to really hear how God worked in his life and brought him to where he is today, and it was a blessing. I love hearing people's stories because God works in each person's life differently, and um, it's really great to hear how God can work on a person's heart and how they can surrender and all that God can do in their lives. And so I was really encouraged to be able to chance to, to sit down and talk with him. Um, we really enjoyed the conversation, and it was just great to have a chance to, to get away and to see another culture. And uh, really, it was neat. And then tomorrow morning, uh, first thing in the morning, we're back into Bible school lessons, and then tomorrow night, the marriage night. And so I'm going to get to bed and so I can get up early and prepare and seek the Lord and um, look forward to another day. Uh, the Bible school students were very receptive and um, really a great group of people, young people that are hungry for God, and so they're great to work with, and so the translator is doing really good. Uh, her and I worked last time. Her name is Anna Marie, and we uh, worked together two years ago, and so we work well, and um, the Lord's just really being gracious to us and helping us, and so we're grateful for your prayers because I know a lot of you are praying and really appreciate it. God's doing uh, great things here in people's hearts, and so uh, have a good night, and we'll talk to you soon.